it goes okay, right I see here. The, I see the main channel. Okay, Nick's showing you the main channel. You can really see it good now because even though we had such a dry summer, this fall has been so wet that the main channel picked up uh, water and it's up there where you can see it now. It's about three to five to six, eight feet deep on the corners. And there'll be maybe, you know, some fish in there, some suckers or pike or bass, you know, perch. You see all that stuff. One time I was on a trip and I took my canoe paddle and I speared a sucker and we ate it for lunch. Actually, we ate it for breakfast. We were hungry. You know, I've canoed in three or four different canoes, Old Town Canoe, Alumacraft Canoe, and Corecraft Canoes. Uh, they're all good. I like the probably the Old Town best because it's quiet. You know, it's a quiet canoe made out of a plastic, a fabricated plastic that works good. My most exciting stories on the Mississippi are probably listening to the Timberwolves howl at night and get close to my tent which is a little bit scary. Uh, watching the coyotes cross in front of me, a mother with four baby coyotes, they swam right across the river in front of us one time. Probably taking 40 or 50 people on guided trips during my experiences on the river as a highlight. But the, the thing that scared me the most of all my trips was when I was on the river all by myself one time. And this is the river way upstream from here you know maybe 20 30 miles upstream halfway to Itasca I was off of a campsite called Pine Point in a swamp and a jet broke the sound barrier and made a sonic boom over my head and I hit the deck on the canoe flat because I thought I didn't know what happened I thought I was getting shot at or something or bombed it scared me so much and I was all by myself it was the most crazy experience I've ever had. Uh, the other one is seeing flying squirrels just before bedtime come out and fly over my campfire right near my head. They were swooping down. There's five or six campsites on this river. So when you start at Itasca, you come out and you find a place to sleep or spend a, a restful time at Wanigan, Coffee Pot, Bear Den, Fox Trap, Pine Point, and Iron Bridge. Those are the, all the campsites along the whole way up to Bemidji. Uh, as you named all those off, they get closer to Bemidji in sequence. So it's pretty cool.